the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. your first time inside the squared circle let's talk a little bit about that how did it feel a blessing a miracle <laughs> yes felt amazing it's nothing like it how did you prepare for this fight because you were a last minute opponent that must have been very difficult for you yes um i received the fight on eight days notice um i honestly didn't have much time to really prepare for it we had to get a lot of things last minute um, to actually be able to take the fight. So honestly, I only had maybe about two days of actual preparation from the time that I got the call. So What did it feel like, though? Because, you know, it's really hard to prepare for bare knuckle. I ask combat sports people from the UFC, from Bellator, from Strikeforce, anybody who comes over, it's really hard to make the transition. What did it feel like to be hit with a bare knuckle? I've been hit bare knuckle before. Yeah, I've actually lost this tooth, so I'm pretty familiar with it. <laughs> um, so it's nothing new for me. So I'm, it, uh, it feels a lot worse than a glove, so very raw. <laughs> now, what were some of your thoughts about your performance? I heard you talking off stage that you felt disappointed in your performance. Yeah. I actually think, personally, you did a really good job on such a short notice. I honestly held my hands too much. I should have thrown a lot of more punches. I should have attacked more in certain in certain times where I clearly had an opportunity. Um, but I'll do better next time. So. Are you looking then maybe to fight her again or would you like somebody different? I That's not really my decision. I have to let my coaches make that decision. But whatever they say, I'll do it. Now, because you're new to the BKFC family, I got to find a couple things out about you because our fans like to know about our new fighters. You were at the tryouts at BKFC in New York. What was that like? And I think you sparred with somebody I know very well. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. Yeah, he was actually out in Belfast, New York. Um, it was Lorenzo. He's actually my favorite BKFC fighter. So it was just perfect. Um, he is amazing. The event was amazing. Um, it was honestly what made me like want to just get more into bare knuckle. So. What kind of background did you have? Did you have combat sports background before you came into BKFC? Yes, ma'am. Um, Jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, and a couple amateur fights for uh, boxing and a couple other places. And more, mostly exhibition fights, so that's really it. Now, you're a mom. You know, that's a really tough job. You've got to be a role model. You're a single mom. How do you balance the fact that you're in combat sports and all the training with being a mom? It's a little bit more complicated. So um, I am a single mom. Thank God I have my mom. My mom, uh, it was a big traumatic event uh, a little over two years ago. And honestly, after that, it was just me, my mom, and my kids, my aunt and my uncle, and nobody else. So honestly, I'm, uh, but that's really all I need. Um, all glory to God. <laughs> if it wasn't for God, then I honestly wouldn't even be alive. So. Now, how old are your kids? And uh, when you get home, what are you going to say to them? Or are they old enough to know that you're fighting? Is well, I guess the question. They were watching this fight, so I know they're proud of me. Um, mommy's okay, so I know they're happy. They're good, and um, I just can't wait to get back home to you guys. So that's it. <laughs> All right. Before we go, and I think you did an amazing job. Do you want to shout out to any of your friends, family, or sponsors? Yes. So uh, once blind. Podcast. It's actually my uncle. Um, if you want real, real good stuff, then definitely check him out. Um, Jules Gray. She was actually the one that gave me the uh, the opportunity, and I'm just very grateful to her too. And and again, most importantly, um, all glory to God and and my mom. Thank you so much for helping me with my kids. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to Bear Knuckle News tonight. I can't wait to see you back at the Squared Circle. I know your mom and your kids and everybody back in your hometown should be super proud of you. So for Bear Knuckle News, I'm Susan Tagari, and this is... Gabrielle Roman. And remember, and I mean remember, come on, girl, no one beats us to the punch.